Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So I just want to preface this video uh, with some information about what I'll be showing you here. So what I'll be showing you is uh, a stripped down version of Windows 10. Specifically, this is a version of Windows 10 that was created for the Chinese government. And it is called the Windows 10 China Government Edition. And as you can see by this blog post, this came out in 2017. So Microsoft basically stripped down a version of Windows 10. Uh, they made it stripped down to the bare minimum for the Chinese government so that there is no telemetry, there's no Cortana, there is no Xbox Live, there's no Microsoft account, and it has no apps, nothing. So, and you'll see what I mean in uh, in the video in a bit here. But I just wanted to show you uh, some more information about it here. So, among some of the OEMs that offered this, uh, Lenovo, Xiaomi, Huawei, uh, Dell, uh, was also in there, as well as Microsoft with some of their Surface products. So um, it's just interesting. So this is just the blog post here. Uh, it basically is for security and privacy, which was kind of ironic, uh, considering how the Chinese government does um, spy on their citizens and that kind of thing. But uh, it, yeah. So here it says the Chinese government edition will use. Uh, we'll use these manageability features to remove features that are not needed by the Chinese government employees like OneDrive, <laughs> um, telemetry and updates, and uh, basically they even have their own Windows update. So it's not going to get anything other than uh, just small updates uh, regarding the like Flash Player and, the, um, and Windows Defender. So Windows Defender is built into it. And so as you can see, they uh, advertise all this stuff here. Um, they do get Microsoft Office, but that's separate. And then uh, they did advertise the HoloLens here. Uh, I did find this interesting um, article here um, from Computer World saying, for real Windows 10 privacy, you need the China government edition. So it's uh, kind of interesting. So basically, it is a very, very, very stripped down version. So and another thing of interest, uh, before I go here is um, I did find a version of 1809 uh, that came after this and it is slightly different so I will upgrade the version that I currently have so the version I'm going to be showing you in this video is uh, Windows 10 1803 and uh, I'll be showing you just some of the little features of this one um, another thing that I uh, learned is that they are probably going to be getting rid of Windows 10 in China uh, for the Chinese government by 2022 so um, although Microsoft went above and beyond to remove a bunch of features from Windows 10 to make it compliant with, their, with what they wanted for their government uh, computers, uh, it looks like they may be going to Linux. So um, I believe the version that they're going to be going to is Kynan, Kynan Linux, and uh, that may be something I may look into in a future video. Uh, but anyway... We'll go ahead and uh, show you some of the features of this one. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do much with this, and I couldn't read much because it does not even allow me to change the language, uh, the display language on the operating system. So anyway, uh, this will be a very short video, but hopefully you enjoy what you see. And again, I'll show you more uh, of 1809 on another video. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to try something a little different. So uh, a friend of mine on Twitter, Ethan, found a Windows 10 China Government Edition <laughs> and uh, had a link here for it, so I decided to go ahead and download it. So I will show you the website here. So these are the instructions to install it. And you have a installation and then there's an upgrade version. So, um, and this is in terrible translation, but it basically shows you how to how to install it here. Um, so I do have the ISO here. So let me go ahead and create the uh, virtual machine, and I will be back, and I'll show you the installation. Alrighty, so we're back, and we are in the uh, installation media here. And uh, as you can see, it's all in Chinese, so obviously I can't read it, but we know how to do everything here. So uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, let's see. Can we choose our language? We will just uh, we'll just figure that out later. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and continue here and install now.
and then setup is starting. Obviously, I can't read this, but we'll be able to change this once we get into the uh, into the actual OS here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and agree to our terms and conditions, and then we'll do a custom install here, and we're going to go ahead and format the drive. All right, so it's formatted now, so we can click Next, and we'll go ahead and let it do its installation here. All right, so it is uh, booting for the first time here. Now, according to this uh, quick guide, Hello, <laughs> Cortana engineering. Now, according to this guide, Cortana is not in this version of Windows, but apparently she is in the setup process. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go through the process here, and hopefully, hopefully, um, we will be able to see uh, what to do here. All right, so I've gotten everything installed here, and I did try to change the language in this version, but it does not allow me to. Um, however, I'm trying to use Google Translate to kind of go around the system and figure out <laughs> the best way to do this. Um, and as you can see, it just doesn't... I can't get the... Again, I have issues with the, the way this is showing up. So I guess we'll go ahead and keep it as that. So um, basically, this is a very stripped down version of Windows 10. And I will show you uh, some of what is included here. So um, when we go to the settings here, uh, obviously everything, everything is in Chinese. So I did check Windows Update here. And it does show that it's Windows 10 1803. So a little behind there. Um, this one is not activated. Uh, however, when I go into the language settings here, uh, and I go into the language, I have added, I have tried to add different languages here, but the only option I get is in, uh, is Chinese simplified. Uh, I even tried to change the region. Uh, if you go into any of the different versions of English here, it does not give, it says it's downloading, but it just never does. So I'm not sure if that's just an issue with the system. I will let the Windows updates do its thing and see if that makes any difference. Um, but I do know that it is Windows 10 18.03. So here you have the desktop and it looks pretty nice. This does say Windows 10 uh, Government Edition here. And then uh, we have a couple of things down here at the bottom. Um, I can't read these unless I use, <laughs> unless I use the um, Google Translate here. So let me scroll back over that and see what that says. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it does not like to... There we go, let's see. Right, oh, Chinese mode, right click to see more options. Let's see, is that an actual option to change our language? Display language bar. All right, uh, Pinyin, Chinese English, full half, Chinese English punctuation, input method settings. Uh, honestly, I don't think that's really going to help me <laughs> um, because I can't see anything in the system uh, of what it is. So um, I'll go ahead and get out of this. It won't even let me change the language, so <laughs> that's disappointing. Uh, I do want to see what this is up here. Oh, so this is the system activation. And let's see what happens there. So CMIT client, yeah, verified publisher CMIT signature. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay, so this is just the Windows 10 activation screen. Uh, let's see if this has anything special here. The serial number and product key are on your computer and or in the product packaging. The sequence number is like this. Uh, 
yeah so obviously I can't activate it so let's go ahead and uh, we will cancel here alright so uh, as I said this is a very stripped down version of Windows 10 so what's included we have our calculator we have camera paint 3d photos our settings Windows Defender PowerShell different PowerShell things here uh, we do have our Internet Explorer uh, print 3d uh, I believe this is our is this a screen recording software? Yes, so that's a screen recording. That's our paint, our notepad. Uh, we have our screenshot tool, um, remote desktop, and then our Windows management. So I mean, pretty stripped down, as I said. We have our voice memos here, search, and then um, I just made a test account. But um, there's nothing pinned here. We don't have Cortana. We have like barely anything here. So um, show you the properties here. Oh, that's interesting. Does it have a phone number there, or is that what is that? Oh, okay. That is a support phone number. China Digital Tech, uh, Network Technology. Very interesting. Very, very interesting there. So we have a support phone number there. And there is really nothing here. So I don't think it's going to include anything special. Let's see what um, what Internet Explorer brings up when we look at that. If there's any specific websites that they have here. Nope, no websites or anything special included here. Oh, they do have some different wallpapers here. That's pretty nice. Does it let you change them? Oh, it does not let you change them, so that's nice. <laughs> we can't change them because it's not activated. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, this is just a interesting look at the Chinese government version of Windows 10. So at the desktop here, and as I as I had said previously, this is a really stripped down version of Windows 10. And the reason that this is special is because this was made for the Chinese government, and it has pretty much everything about Windows 10 that most people don't like stripped down away from it. So all the telemetry is gone, Cortana is gone, although you saw that Cortana was present in the setup screen, which is kind of interesting. Um, even the Windows updates are done through, um, not even through Windows update. So it is a stripped down, locked down kind of version made for privacy which is kind of ironic considering um, the privacy concerns around the Chinese citizens but um, if you don't want all the junk <laughs> this would be a great version so um, it you don't have edge you have like nothing on this um, I do kinda wanna see how large this let's see how much uh, storage is taking up so it's taking up only 10 gigs so it's only using 10 gigs of space when in comparison a traditional install of Windows 10 takes up at least I, I mean it takes up almost 20 I believe um, with all the junk I mean you're missing so you're missing like I said you're missing Cortana you're missing all the tele telemetry stuff uh, you're missing the Xbox integration the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store uh, I mean, I'm surprised that Paint 3D is on here, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, you're missing, like, everything about Windows 10 in here. So, and I think the reason that they wanted that is um, because it was, they wanted something similar to Windows 7, where it's not, you know, super connected to Microsoft, and they're not getting a bunch of uh, information from them. Um, and this is, uh, this is running on a virtual machine with only 2 gigs of RAM. 
and it runs really well, surprisingly. Um, so, and like you saw, there are updates showing here. Um, however, it's not really, it's taking a long time. Oh, you know, there's part of it going there. And you're on an older version. So you're on 1803 versus, you know, we're about to be on 2004. So uh, I think it sucks that they're stuck with Internet Explorer, but um, it did let me download Chrome. And I am able to see uh, some things in English here. So obviously, because I have English added as a language here, um, I can see you know, things in English that I've downloaded, but um, as far as like the system language, it does not let me actually change that. Um, I have seen a video on YouTube where someone was able to um, add the language pack. I did get a, I did manually download a .cab file to uh, try to do this, but it has the option grayed out, so I'm not even able to change the display language to, um, to English. Uh, so before I go, um, there's not much to this video. This is just me showing you uh, the Chinese government version of Windows 10 and how stripped down it is. And I just thought that was an interesting thing to look at. Um, I do want to show you the wallpapers that come with this because they're quite nice. Um, and I may I may uh, provide a link to them. I may have a, a little Google Drive link, and uh, I may put that in the description. So if you guys wanted to <laughs> have these or use these, you. If you wanted to, you can. So, um, because it's unactivated, I can't change the wallpapers, but I can show you some of the ones that are included here, and they are quite nice. So, um, all right, let's open it. Oh, okay, Photos app. All right, so we'll show you some of these here. Well, if it decides to pop up. But there we go. All right, so we have this nice thing here. And as you can see, this little watermark here, it just says Windows 10 Chinese Government Edition. <laughs> and uh, so we have quite a few nice wallpaper here. And you even have a nice one for like a, a larger, larger monitor there. Um, there are some more here. Or this is the default one that comes on. So this was the default one when I installed it. Really beautiful shot. Um, and then these are, uh, these here are actually in every version of Windows 10. I did have to check that just to make sure, but there's no watermark there, and these are just flowers. So, but you don't have the Windows logo, uh, you don't have the, you don't have any other wallpaper with this. So, super duper stripped down, but performance wise, really nice. And, um, yeah, if I can get this, if I can figure out the English language part of this and get this in the English language, then I uh, I will show you how I did that. So if anybody ever wants to try this, they can. Um, it does have Windows Defender on here also, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't think we have... Yeah, and as you can see, even the options, even the options here are very limited. <laughs> so, oh, VPN. Yeah, you gotta have your VPN. Uh, but anyway... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the Windows 10 Chinese Government Edition. And if you have any questions, free to, feel free to leave me a comment and uh, I'll see if I can answer them. And uh, I do want to thank uh, ParrotGeek1 on Twitter for providing me with a link to the ISO of this. And uh, the, there are the ISO is out there. Um, so I believe that Dell and Lenovo are two of the manufacturers that uh, make computers with this. Microsoft also has uh, their Surface products that they offer with this version of the operating system for the Chinese government. So, um, yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.